Did you just kill them? Of course not. Why would I kill my life's long work? I basically just put them away. Good point. Is it a good point, Chris? Is it? Hello, and welcome back to Mr. Red Plays. Uh, today, Chris isn't alone. A lot of people think he is. I'm here to set the record straight. Chris is not alone. Let me tell you why. It'll take the length of this video. The explanation as to why is this game. So we're going to play it. Uh, Chris isn't alone. I think this is uh, kind of a visual novel kind of thing. You wake up to the sound of a thud from your closet. Okay. I'm waking up. You can tell by my eyes waking up like this. Okay. You yell for your dad. Dad! Your dad comes running to check on you. The footsteps grow louder. <laughs> oh, Jesus. God? 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 Is it supposed to be good old dad or something? The dad. You okay? I heard a loud bang in the closet. I think someone is in there. I'll take a look around. Jesus, okay. Oh, oh, he's looking around, I guess. Why is he so transparent? Uh, looks all clear to me, buddy. Are you sure I really did hear something? You saw for yourself. There is nothing here. But I know thunderstorms can be scary, but how old are you now? I don't care enough to know. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. Oh, come on. You're the smartest 12-year-old I know. So he does know. So why did he ask? How about a quick bedtime snack to calm the be the belly demons? Uh, I'm gonna... I'll accept. I don't want no belly demons. Okay, just hang on. I'll be right back. All right, see ya. Bye, Dad. Bye. Oh, he's back. Oh, good. I have returned with snacks, peanut butter, and a single banana. Okay, just hang on. I'll be right back. What? Now where are you going? You already brought me the snacks. Now where are you going? What the hell? I have returned with snacks. Yeah, I know. For you, sir, a banana served with a bar of peanut jar of peanut butter. Since you're an old man now, I'm leaving you with a butter knife to cut the banana. Just be careful, okay? Sleep tight, buddy. I'll see you in the morning. Why did you time loop? Why did you time loop, Dad? What's happening? It's orange now, pink, red? I don't know. I can't really do anything. So I won't. I'll just sit here and wait. Oh, okay. Hello, sir. Are you here for the peanut butter? <laughs> you can't have any. These are for my belly demons, Christ. Hey, cr hey, Chris. <laughs> I've got some bad news. I'm gonna kill you. Uh, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Why shouldn't I? Because, uh, someone is behind you. <laughs> nice try, kid. I'm not turning around. You must think I'm stupid. <laughs> Why can't we just be friends? Who said we weren't? Well, kind of you did when you threatened to kill me. Just saying. Well, you want to kill me. See, this is a smart kid. I like this kid. This is a smart little cookie. Not a cookie. I know you're a monster, and monsters traditionally love cookies. But I'm not one, so don't. Uh, well, you want to kill me. I'm saving you from future suffering. That's true. Okay, what does that mean? I can see the future, Chris. Within a year, the world will be overrun with monsters like me. We have ways of multiplying. But certain requirements must be fulfilled. The crystals. The faces. The crystal. What? I'm sorry. What? What was that? Nothing. <laughs> Clearly it was not nothing. You sounded like someone said something about a crystal. All right, enough of that. Crunch. D did you just kill them? Of course not. Why would I kill my life's long work? I basically just put them away. Good point. Is it a good point, Chris? Is it? So, about what you were saying before, make me one of you. What? You said the world would be overrun by your kind, so make me one of you. 
Okay, close your eyes. All right, I will. I'll, clo <laughs> I'll close my eyes. Now I can't see anything. All right, the monster says... <laughs> oh, shit. What? What happened? I misspoke. Okay, so? I just cursed you by accident. What? You should explode in about three seconds. Explode? You popped like a balloon. Guys, I'm... Wow, never expected that. Quite unfortunate. You just exploded. Like hard. Click to play again. Okay, ending tracker. I got that ending. There's multiple endings to this game. I will get every single one of them. All right, let's see if any of this is different. So let's do auto. I think that uh, takes us... Okay, so instead of saying, uh, I'll say 12. Exactly, you've grown up so strong and brave that no monster in this world could hurt you. I know. How about a quick bedtime snack to calm the belly demons? I'll accept this time again. I want to get closer to the ending that I got last time and change later. Yeah, let's auto and we'll skip through. Okay, please don't kill me. And we'll skip again. Uh, I'm too young to die. We'll try that one. No, you're not. The monster rips off your foot and shoves it down your throat, silencing you. Don't. Then grabs your arms and rips them off, leaving you to suffer. Wow, that one was much shorter. Dang, you got destroyed. Okay, I got destroyed, you guys. I'm 12. Uh, let's decline the snack. That's right. You don't even need help fighting off the belly demons. Quit talking about my belly demons, Dad. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't like it when you talk about my belly demons, and I'm freaking pissed off about it. Sleep tight, buddy. I'll see you in the morning. All right, bye, Dad. Okay, and then there's a monster probably. We'll skip. Okay, let's say... Why? Why? What do you mean, what? What do you mean, why? Uh, don't make me explain my entire evil plan. You're gonna have to. You're... You're gonna have to. Nope, I won't. Change the topic or I'm killing you now. Okay, okay. Jeez. After you tell me about your evil plan. Since you insist, we were going to have a great conversation. Then, once I was satisfied... I was going to take your eyes, uh, then your ears. The monster rips off your ears. Now, blind and deaf, all you can do is wait. You sure love to nag. Click to play again. Oh, okay. I guess that happens. Okay. All right. I didn't seem to get another ending for that, which I'm a little disappointed by. I'm 12. We'll decline because I don't need all that noise in my life. I'll say, who are you? Who are you? I am a century-old demon that goes around to little children's homes just like yours, with the only goal of stealing their soul and adding it to my collection so that I may grow exponentially more powerful and increase my amount of victims endlessly. Okay, we're going to have to talk about sentence structure. There's something called a run-on sentence, and that's where you talk forever with no periods or exclamation points or anything of the like. And that's what you're doing right now. Da da da, da da da. Does that mean you have superpowers? Do you wanna see? Yes. The monster waves his hand and your door opens by itself. Well, that's cool. Wow, have you ever seen Star Wars? You do know who you're talking to, right? No, I don't. No, you made up some crazy story, remember? Hmm, right. So. What are you? An evil spirit that likes to talk with my victims before killing them. Meh. Meh. But that's what we've been doing. Oh, no, he's gone. Thinking. Hmm. Thinking. Wait. It left me here with the door open. Should I stay put and wait? Of course. That's the right answer. Eh. Why did you stay? It would be rude of me to leave mid-conversation. Good answer. But unfortunately for you, I'm done talking. How do you want to die? I'll at least let you pick. Uh, I don't. But this is always how I end the conversation. Why? 
What do you mean, why? Uh, don't make me explain my evil plan. Whoa, hold on. Wait, oh. I got all around back to that. That's weird. How old are you? 2,397? You made that up. You made that up. Nope. Tonight is actually my birthday. Hey, congratulations there, guy. Mazel tov. And you chose to spend it with me? Wait, how do I know you aren't lying? Why would I lie about such a thing? Great question. Well, you are a monster after all. Show me your birth certificate then. Oh, he's a birther. Oh, Christ. Okay. One moment. He doesn't have... Run or hide. I will hide. Before you can do anything, the monster returns. Okay. <gasps> Were you trying to get rid of me? No. Oh. <laughs> well, that's just great. So, did you find it? Of course I didn't find it. You think I keep my birth certificate in my back pocket? No. Where do you keep it then? The monster is seriously unimpressed. You know, a while back, there was this boy similar to you, one that I was going to kill, but he felt distant. It felt like he was looking right through me. He never pleaded for his life or tried to reason with me. He only listened, and so I chose to spare his life. Why? On the table next to a bed, bed were cards from his family and friends, I assume. The boy was already dying. Is he better now? I don't exist to heal people, you know. Last I saw, the family moved out, but the boy's spirit stayed trapped in that house until tonight. He is here, watching over you. The least you can do is not take your life for granted. Convince me. Please don't kill me. Why shouldn't I? Because... I've been here before, and neither of these are good options. Oh, really? Did he turn around? What is that on your back? Were those faces? Yes, they are. Help us! The faces! Oh, don't bother listening to them. They are beyond saving. Are they dead? Not really. Then can I talk to them? You may ask one question. One of the faces has a soul crystal in its mouth. Take the soul crystal. You take the soul crystal and hide it in your hand. Actually, I changed my mind. Wise choice, if you figured anything out, I would have killed you on the spot. I didn't actually exactly figure anything out, but I did find this. Give that to me, nope. The monster leaps towards you with the intent to kill, but runs into an invisible barrier and shrieks in pain. Rah! You realize that you can't be hurt while holding the crystal. Spare the monster. Let the monster leave. Fine. I'll let you live, but you have to promise me something. I'll let you live if you leave me alone and never hurt anyone again. You have to say, I promise. You squeeze the soul crystal. The monster shrieks in pain. Rah! Fine. Say it. I pro mess. Great! You are dismissed. In fear of the monster returning, you stay up all night holding the soul crystal. Jeez, what a night. I wonder where it went. You have achieved the good ending. You graciously spared the monster and kept your life in the process. I got the good ending. Okay, this game. This game. Okay, let's say, say nothing. Nothing to say? I was really hoping you'd be different than my other targets. You had other targets? You think you were the first? What did you do to the others? We talked until I got bored. That's it. When I'm bored, I like to kill. Oh, sometimes I'd throw them out the window or strangle them till their eyes pop out or cut them open. But if I'm feeling wild, I'd eat them whole. An overwhelming pressure takes over the room. You're pissed. They didn't deserve that. Uh, the monster is surprised. This anger was unexpected. Fake your death. You throw off your covers and stand on your bed. As you run at the monster, you fake slip and fall onto the ground. You actually hit your head pretty hard, but you're fine. You lay on the ground as if you're dead. The head smash was quite convincing after all. The monster says, Bleh. Kid, 
You feel a gentle poke in your ribs. Did that really just happen? Guess I'll be leaving. It sounds like the monster left. I'm gonna wait. You wait for about five minutes. Turns out you're really good at playing dead. Well, he's dead. He was more fragile than I thought. The monster leaves. For real this time. You open your eyes and take a look around. Oh, a new image. It's clear. You try to stand up and immediately hit the ground again. You hit your head harder than you thought earlier. That's a shame. Sleeping on the floor, beats being dead. You convince the monster that you literally died, but you're fine. Aside from a minor major head injury. Click to play again. Okay, I guess that was a goodish ending. I didn't really spare the monster, so his soul is still a monster or something. I don't really know. I'm going to say, yeah, right. Yeah, right. You flip off the monster. You're brave or just really stupid. Are you right-handed? Yeah. The monster bites off your middle finger on your left hand. You are thankful the minor monster chose your offhand. Uh, please don't kill me. Oh, have I seen this before? Yeah. Okay, someone's behind you, but he doesn't look behind you. Maybe because it's different. I'm going to not close my eyes this time. You stare at the monster. What are you doing? I don't know. Come on, I don't have all night. What the, oh, but then I have to close my eyes anyway. So then what's the goddamn point? I ask you. Oh, oh, oh I guess I got the same ending as I got last time. Okay. Okay, well, let, let's, let's try to get something different this time. Here's what I'll do. Instead of attacking him, I will... Yeah, I will attack him. You throw off your covers and stand on your bed. I saw that. You run and try to tackle it, but you fly right through it. You hit the ground hard and get knocked out. Is this the exact same ending? Nice one, idiot. Oh, he's out cold. The monster finishes you off swiftly. You never wake up. Nice jump, LOL, but maybe try a less direct approach next time. Okay. I don't feel like I'm getting any new endings. I'm very concerned by all of this. Okay, please don't kill me. Uh, I'm too young to die. No, okay. Let Here, you know what? Why don't we accept... I accidentally declined. I was going to say, what if we do this little, th whoops, little thing where we, uh, I don't, uh, try to get the food and then give it to him, maybe. Uh, do you like superhero movies, Chris? No. Duh. Then you must know that every awesome superhero has to fight an equally awesome supervillain. Mm-hmm. Think of me like that. Like what? The super awesome and powerful villain that will still kill the hero no matter how much you love them. But the hero always wins. This isn't a movie, Chris. Huh? Then why even talk about all that shit then? It's a video game. Fuck this. We're done. Thanks for watching. I didn't get all the endings, but I don't care. Bye. See you next time for more exciting videos from me, Mr. Red. Until then, I've been Mr. Red. Uh, stay spooky out there, everybody. And remember, keep watching.